thank you very much, and welcome to the White House complex. I'm saying it different now. I've been coming over here for five years and saying welcome to the White House. Somehow, tradition had it that this was considered. And finally, I couldn't quite get used to that. You have to cross the street out in the cold and everything, and it's still the White House. It's the White House complex. <laughs> and uh, incidentally, it is one of our more beautiful rooms, the Indian Treaty Room. This was a building that they once suggested knocking down and building something a little more modern. Then they found out the granite walls are four feet thick. <laughs> and it's still here. Well, having just concluded your participation in the U.S. Conference of Mayors meetings, I know you've discussed thoroughly the impact of our top priority here at the federal level. And that, of course, is to reduce spending and finally erase the federal deficit. Now, but put plainly, Washington must take a, take a page from the book of the cities. You all have had to make difficult decisions, live within your own budgetary means, and call on extraordinary innovation from your communities. I know, how well I know, that this hasn't been easy. And I know that what we do here has a substantial impact on your local budgets. But if we do not exercise the same fiscal restraint, strength that all of you have, if we shirk the duty now, then the special interests deserve to be the victors, for we will have all been irresponsibly left our future open to economic chaos. I don't think we can or will let that happen. I use you as shining examples of proof that we can get the job done. And I need your help in telling the country that bringing down deficits is the best step we can take to building lasting prosperity in our cities and all across America. When you're surrounded by partisan Democrats, I know it isn't easy to speak up for a different point of view, but uh, that makes me appreciate your support all the more. Now, I'm pleased to recognize your immediate past president, Mayor Bill Althaus. These are challenging times for local government. And thank goodness we have courageous leaders like you. And I'm pleased to join with your peers to thank you for your leadership over the past year and the best of luck in the future. I'm turning the wrong way. You're the incoming. <laughs> I've been paroled. <laughs> well, you and me, we're the outgoing. Yes. <laughs> All right, well, here is a letter that I just like to present to you. Thank you. Thank you for everything and congratulations. Mr. President, thank you very much. And I'll leave you now to your socializing. I've got to go down and twist the arms of some private citizens in another room down the hall here to get them to turn the heat on the Congress for this same budget that I've been talking about here. So Thank you again for all your support and all that you've been doing. God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you.